My name's uh, Martin Landray. I'm Professor of Medicine and Epidemiology here in the University of Oxford. And I'm one of the people who lead the recovery trial of treatments for COVID to get personal recognition for what is a huge team effort, not only across Oxford and some you know, stellar people within Oxford, but right the way across the NHS and you know, 40,000 patients. Um, 40,000 patients who took part in the trial in you know, really difficult circumstances each of those having personal stories, many of them sadly having personal tragedies, but to have found treatments that now benefit patients all around the world and are saving hundreds of thousands of lives, that, that to me is the achievement. And if today's a personal recognition for that widespread um, uh, achievement, well, uh, let's all enjoy that. The recovery trial is the world's largest trial of treatments for COVID trying to identify which treatments are um, beneficial. They reduce the risk of death, they uh, reduce the need for a ventilator, they get people out of hospital quicker. Um, which treatments don't do those things and are, if you like, useless and we should abandon them. Um, and so the trial's been running for just over a year, since early March last year. Uh, and in that time, yes, we've dismissed some treatments, some quite, if you like, popular treatments like hydroxychloroquine and convalescent plasma, because they don't work. And I, th I suppose the, the big breakthrough was almost exactly a year ago when we identified that dexamethasone uh, saves lives. And dexamethasone costs about a five pounds for a course of treatment. It's in every hospital pharmacy pretty much around the world. And that really was the first time we saw a chink uh, in the, in the co coronavirus. Um, and it's estimated to have saved hundreds of thousands of lives since then, which is you know, phenomenal. Science is about teamwork, medicine is about teamwork. That's what we've really learned over the last year of you know, tackling COVID. Um, really important to recognise that this isn't you know, the end of the story. There's so much more work to do. The pandemic's not over in the UK and certainly not worldwide. The method of doing these big clinical trials will be so important as we tackle both the next pandemic and all those other diseases like heart disease and osteoarthritis and so on that uh, cause such burden on a day-to-day, month-by-month -month basis all around the world. So um, it's, a, it's a day to reflect on, yes, some success, um, team, teams success, uh, but also not to lose focus of what, why we're here and what we're doing.